Yeah, good morning. We're heading up the Coromandel. Going to go look for some quartz and jaspers. Tide's going out. So by the time we get up there, after stopping at a couple of bays, the tide should be low, so we can walk around the point. So, yeah. Welcome along. Yeah, good morning. Hey, it's uh, 1st of September, so you know what that means. Pinch and a pinch for the first of the month. And I'll say white rabbit, so you can't do it back to me, eh? Yeah. So, yep, yeah, no, nah, we're off to off to the Coromandel. Well, we're in the Coromandel. Should be a reasonably good day once this fog and cloud burns off. So, wonder what we're going to find. Come along, have a look. We'll see you out there. Yeah, so we'll just have a quick stop here and you know, have a look down the beach, see what we can find here. There'll be some quartzes and stuff. Look, what's, what's this is just found? We'll turn around and have a look. Some ironstone quartz. It's been broken, some some more quartz right there. And it's sparkly in the sunshine. Some more quartz here, some more there, some more there, up there, over there, a little bit of jasper. Actually that's quite a, could be quite nice that bit. Exciting when you're starting out, or even when you're not. So yeah, this is a great place. This bay. Yeah, so here we are, we're walking down this little bush track down to the beach. It's a forest and bird sanctuary. And there's all sorts of birds that can be seen here. Britons and things. To reread the sign. The heavy rain last night, um, huge storm in the early hours of the morning, so the track is, even though it's a nice easy track, it's a little bit slippery underfoot. Yeah, well, it's very slippery coming down here. I um, went for a bit of a slide. Just stay to the left. So I've got a very muddy bottom. 
Ah, carry on. So down here, there's lots of druzy quartz. So let's hope we find something. The trees have come to the coastal erosion. Look at the big wide mud flats. Muddy. Got a bit muddy. Okay, we're sat down here from the. So I just kicked this. That looks like. Nah, there's no drews on that. Big chunk of quartz. So all this quartz here came from, it was coming out of some gold mines. There were several gold mines around the coast here. So we might get around. Looks like a bit of jasper down there. Small jasper. Jasper, 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 Jasper. There's um, limonite as well, which is a iron. I love this big chunk of quartz over here. As I was saying, there's some lemon right here, which is a iron slag stuff. And all the oysters, all the rock oysters. So it's a big industry here. Out out there somewhere and the harbour is an oyster farm I think it's over over there yeah we'll go to the oyster farm and get some oysters and chips there's a lot of big mussel farms here today. Have something interesting to look at. It's pretty fascinating. I uh, haven't got a chance to turn it off yet. Now look at this rock formation here. It's... So we're definitely starting to get into what it looks like tailings. There's some more quartz over there. It's just everywhere around here. The evidence of the tailings. Now where I'm wanting to go, if we can, is get out around that, that beach over there. But it looks like it's pretty mangrovey over here, which may be too muddy to walk through. This must be some of that iron slag lemonite. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll have to confirm that. Yes, nah, that's pretty cool, eh? Neat woman shapes okay. and. That would make an awesome garden. Yeah, it would do, <laughs> eh? Drill a hole through there and we'll run up the down, down. Yeah. Another tree. So come 
It looks like another one. This one up here is about ready to fall down. So walking around, can you see it? It looks that's a little dreezy on it. Maybe not as dreezy as I would expect. I best found some of that too. Yeah. Looks like it's covered in trees. I just wanted to show you this one. Yeah, hey, that's okay. quite good. Yeah. It's better than my one. Well, you know, I found it. Of course. But that one's cool. I like that one. You do? Yeah, that could be really pretty, but it is heavy. Maybe we should put some of this tree. Is it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's not quite, um, it's not got the dreezy small betroid or that. The New Zealand mangrove swamp. As a kid I used to play all in around this stuff. I'd be up to my knee deep in mud, walking through it all. Yeah, here's a what, 10, 12 year old. Right. All the Mister's clearing. Now we can see the other side of the bay. We got here. Yeah. We're getting closer to the. To the mine, there's lots more tailings coming out. Cruisy, look at this one down here. Now the sun's out, so you can see it. And it's still weather worn. There's a few shiny bits in that one, eh? And a shed up around there. Get sidetracked by all the sparklies here. This one. Oh, there's a lot of... That's nice. It is nice. That's awesome. That's going in our pick. Look at this. It's amazing. Don't want to carry it back. Yeah. 
these are a few pieces we've picked up. Time to high grade some stuff. Yeah, I know I'm crazy, but that big drizzy rock, I fit it in my backpack. And we, we got to go all the way around, around there. Oh well, see how far we get. Yeah, so I've got my backpack full of that rock. And we'll go and have a head back, see if I can carry it 20 odd kilo. So I've gone and packed all my camera gear away. Just got the phone out. Because we've got the Big, uh, big hill to walk up, big slippery clay. <laughs> but yeah, as the missus are trying to sort my pack out, because I've got a bit of rock in it, just a bit. So we'll catch you later. I'm going to put all my camera away in case I fall over and don't want to damage it. Okay, catch you guys later. Yeah. So we've made it back, I've had a change of clothing and there's the motorbike go past. So we've stopped here at the Coromandel Oyster Company, going to have a feed. Might as well support the locals while you're here. Heard it's very good, so we'll see what it's like. Twenty-five point one kilo. So we'll go put it in some acid. So I put in the tin foil. Did just help stop the Rocks going yellow from the oxalic acid. Let's see if this will fit in. Look at that, eh? Just fits. Chuck some smaller bits on too. These are some that Beth's got. And these are some of my ones. It's going to be a nice petroidal That one Have to pull all the barnacles off it 
maybe the acid will do that for me. Another nice Drew Zebra Troidal. So that's our rocks. Add some water. We'll go put our oxalic acid in. There's a cup. About half a cup left. Put the lid on. This way up. It's on, let it percolate. See how that goes. Yes, I've been asked what this um, cooker unit is. It's actually a sterilizer unit. It's a Vicola thermostat steriliser. So I've got it set on about 55. Let's leave it at that. That's the one. Right, here we are, it's been three days. It's definitely looking whiter. Probably need to come out of the acid. The um, tin foil starting to decay. It's a bit of need to do something about that soon. Ish. Okay, so we've had this soaking. A couple of weeks in, in the water, changing the water. We'll go give it a water blast. Get all the rubbish off it, see how it comes up. Uh, it looks like there's still a lot of oyster shell on there. I'll put it back in the acid and see if the acid will eat all that off. There's barnacles on here as well. I'll see if I can water blast those off. Otherwise, all back in the acid. Drewsy quartz in there. This one might show it off a bit better. Oh, I'll put them back in the acid. So that's all we'll do for this this video. So you know what to do. If you like seeing what we do, like and subscribe, and you'll keep up to date with what we're up to. So can't get that. Have an awesome day.